So as you begin the IPO process, there's really five key tips that you need to think about. First, you need to start leveraging your thought leadership, your product innovation, your business wins, and start to uh, communicate that to your audiences ahead of, uh, ahead of your quiet period. Secondly, you need to think about your communications and make sure that they are consistent across platforms and across audiences. Your audiences are more than just the investment community when you're going public. It's, it really includes your employees. Uh, your customers, uh, and anyone that really impacts your business on a day-to-day -day basis. Thirdly, you really have to create a cohesive and consistent investment thesis. That's really what investors are going to hang their hat on when it comes to listing day and beyond to drive your valuation. Fourth, you need to manage your media coverage around the filing and on listing day. This is, it, this is really your opportunity to make sure that the message is right with the media, uh, as well as making sure that you are uh, telling your story to a broader base. So lastly, building an investor relations infrastructure is key to the successful, the successful listing going forward. It goes beyond the listing day. So you need to make sure that you have created a messaging platform that you can take beyond listing day. You need to make sure that you have a plan to engage the appropriate investors, building a pipeline at all price points. And then lastly, uh, making sure that message goes to the right audience through the right channels. So whether it be digital media, your earnings call, your investor presentation at non-deal roadshows, uh, they all come together to tell that message.